ప్రజలు can also join in online this church fellowship praise the lord this will be a blessing for everybody any prayer request you can type and send it prayer request we will be praying for you always we are preaching gospel am i right the world people think for we are mad but this is the entire life we have to preach gospel praise the lord this is it i think when you born again and before that when you are in home and uh, in the homeless i can i could see that when you are so much tired there is no joy praise the lord too much disappoint now at least you got a joyful heart am i right first of all start the session i want to give the baptism certificate to such a channel but the cross is here praise the lord when brother the cross is coming he can collect okay church want to invite you know such a channel brother chris um uh, got baptized on uh, when got baptized you know that one when did you got baptized in the year of 26 november 2020 praise the lord hallelujah it was ready this is a baptism certificate of this channel but the cross is there but the cross can come and collect it praise the lord hallelujah so so our church is now you are the body of christ praise the lord please come here now come here to my side here this is a challenge challenge was was wrong as sister and jesus christ touched you now you are the new creation accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior you are in their life is taking care of jesus christ this is a baptism certificate our church is with us a church pastor i am giving this baptism certificate to you okay god bless you thank you god bless you okay right, give you. wonderful clap to jesus christ <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah so baptism certificate so another baptism certificate everybody is here one by one they will come and collect it praise the lord so this is a wonderful time when we are taking the baptism then what will happen our god in their heaven is will rejoice praise the lord because baptism that means that time we are joined with jesus christ to receive all the blessings what our god has given to abraham jacob and david praise the lord today our session is and uh, how can we receive the promises of god how we can receive the promises from the lord praise the lord this is what i want to explain here today in the morning i was preaching the other session other language uh, this section right now i am i want to explain how we can the same session we are taking in english how we can receive the promises you got baptism okay i got baptism now after taking the water baptism we are worthy to receive all the blessings praise the lord from god then the key how you can 
take the blessings it's a very very important one simply you cannot take but you are worthy to take but you should know how to take praise the lord your bible is ready i want both of them come and collect next week okay so it is ready bring it sir so eight keys how to receive god's promises i would like to share like abraham jacob and david praise the lord so after that i would like to explain in our life how we can receive the promises from the lord praise the lord we cannot be a normal person i know when i finish this session and the 30 or 35 minute time within 40 minute time you will we will not be a normal person we will be an extraordinary person to receive forcefully all the blessings from the lord praise the lord this is what i want to say book of genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 7 i would like to read book of genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 7 praise the lord i would like to read let me take that one okay genesis old king james version is a new king james version is here i say praise the lord hallelujah verses 1 to 7 in this bible says now the lord had said to abraham get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that i will show you i will make you a great nation i will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing i will bless those who bless you and i will curse him who curses you and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed that means through you and me we are born again and baptized our god want to bless your family and my family and everybody through you praise the lord because your family members not born again my family members are not born again how they will come to know jesus christ through you and me praise the lord what this verse says so abraham departed as the lord has spoken to him and lot went with him and abraham was 75 years old when he came out to the promised land that time when he departed from haran then abraham took sarai his wife and lot his brother son and all their possessions that they had gathered and the people whom they had acquired in her and they departed to go to the land of canaan so they came to the land of canaan abraham passed through the land of the place praise the lord i would like to not read much verse 7 bible says then the lord appeared to abraham and said praise the lord to your children i will give this land and there he built an altar to the lord who had appeared to him praise the lord hallelujah generations by our god said children that means our god will give the land our god is saying this our guy will give this land to your generations so today i want to read praise the lord promises everything it is written in the bible praise the lord how we can receive these promises from the lord praise the lord it's very important one when you want to receive the promises there are few steps we have to follow certain step you know everybody i born again and back in 2013 lots of lots of promises i got i don't know you you born again 2022 the promise which i said from the god i said to you praise the lord if you want to receive that promise we have to make fellowship praise the lord if you are not making fellowship you cannot receive the promise of the lord praise the lord we should have the relationship with the god pray in front of the lord give thanks and praise to the lord worship our lord in this bible says abraham after receive the promise from the lord abraham made an altar praise the lord hallelujah and worship god altar that means worship that shows the worship the new testament bible say apostle paul and silas when they were in the prison you know that one 
that time they were worshiping god from the present wherever worship is coming from our heart from any of the places according to the bible there is a miracle praise the lord if you are worshiping our lord wherever we are doesn't matter praise the lord but we need a gather fellowship some people will never go to the church they will go to the street <laughs> praise the lord they will, no in the street we will never get concentration no praise the lord worship that means the people those are born again and bath baptized we have to worship in spirit and truth in one mind praise the lord this is very modern one unbeliever should not join with us they can join no problem but there will be a separate place for worship they should not be any of the um, some kind of you know that noise or anything disturbance should not happen that place praise the lord that means our mind should concentrate to the lord this very modern one wherever we are so that i am first of all i was thinking oh i am going to the street why i should go to the church we have to go to the church we need the church fellowship why you are going to the church that means all the disciple they were gathered in jerusalem temple 120 people book of acts chapter 2 they were worshiping our lord hours and hours during the time of worship in one mind they got the power of the holy spirit as a mighty fire am i right the worship place only our god will come down god presence will come down praise the lord but in, in the public place you will not come down it will come down if your heart is with the god praise the lord hallelujah that's what in the bible you can see that one the powerless person received the healing book of mark chapter 2 when jesus christ was preaching the gospel praise the lord the synagogue a woman she got some kind of sickness she could not be able to stand straight there is a problem in here back say is got bent from her birth itself she was in the synagogue that means the church praise the lord she was in the presence of the lord where our worship was reaching worship where our people they were worshiping that woman she was present in that place so jesus christ healed them so today i'm praying i'm saying to each and every people if you are having any sickness we have to come to here praise the lord that's what brother kes is not well if he can mind is good definitely come to have to come to the church okay if you can walk church is a healing place praise the lord church is a healing place healing is here what medical science cannot do praise the lord the church jesus christ presence can do it because jesus christ can present jesus christ presence can break all the things which is coming against our life no matter what is sickness you know that one book of gospel john chapter 5 a person who was having disability last 38 years not one year two years 38 years of disability praise the lord he was waiting to receive the touch from the lord praise the lord that's what okay our god can heal doesn't matter what kind of sickness you have maybe one year two years 20 years 25 years praise the lord our god will heal you you know that one if our god is giving another promises what do i have to do it we have to keep on walk by faith in god sometimes when you are looking at the current situations maybe the war famine famine your financial areas the job job place jobless situation maybe your loneliness you are facing from home your partner your loved one lots of famine it will arise in your life during the time of famine time what are you doing we have to ask to the lord oh god what kind of answer you are going to me going to give to me because our god will give answer to you to each and every people when you are facing the famine time in your life am i right jacob he was faced a lot a big famine time in his life what was the famine when he left him from his house he was alone the night time he slept that time he was worried he was tensioned what he will do he was not having a extra pair of dress or food or anything only he was trusting god the god of abraham he was trusting this god god appeared him in a dream 
Jacob, our God is short. Jacob, a big ladder from heaven to earth. There is a ladder. He could able to see the angels from the heaven. He got a vision, wonderful vision. Years and years later, Jacob, he came back after 20 years with the wives, children, families, lots of wealth, sheep, cattle, donkeys, camels, big wealth. He got able to come back. He got a 12 children. Our God has blessed Jacob a lot. How Jacob could receive the blessings? Jacob was walking by faith in God. He was having the faith in the God of Abraham. Praise the Lord. One who gave the promise to my grandfather. Jacob was thinking he can fulfill the promise. Today, your sickness, your knowledge, nothing to worry. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Give five minutes, two minutes, three minutes. Give thanks and praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord. At least when you are giving, start to give the thanks and praise to the Lord. Then what will happen in our life? When the time of giving the thanks and praise, our God will do, start to do His work. Praise the Lord. This is what I want to say. When you are facing any of the impossible things in your life, we have to give, start to give the thanks and praise to the Lord. In another things, we have to kneel down in front of the Lord and make an altar and give the fellowship and thanks to the Lord and give the thanks in your past life. What all the things our God has blessed? What kind of miracle our God has done in your life? Say one by one from your mouth and give thanks and praise to the Lord. When you are giving like that, and their heaven will get rejoice. Praise the Lord. Then that time, our God is standing in praise and worship. Praise the Lord. Hell, sitting in the praises and glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you are doing like that, your life will get changed. Our God will command His angels to get the protection wherever you are walking. Book of Psalms chapter 91, it will fulfill in your life. Book of Psalms chapter 23, it will fulfill in your life. Our God will prepare a table for you in front of your endless race. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You want to clap to Jesus, guys. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Abraham, he was having the doubt. Bible says, um, book of, somebody want to read, book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 3, 4, 5. Book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 3, 4, 5. Book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 3, 4, 5. Next week, we'll get Bible. Okay, you can read. Okay. Chapter 15, 3, 4, 5. Praise the Lord. This is what, okay. Abraham, he got into doubt how to happen like that. But he didn't say anything from his mouth to the Lord. Praise the Lord. He was not saying any of the native words. But he was a little bit worried. Praise the Lord. Then Abraham, verses 3, Bible says, Then Abraham said, Look, you have given me a no offspring. Indeed, one. Born in my house is my hair. It was not the pro from the promise of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says, verses 4, Bible says, and behold, the word of the Lord came to him. Immediately, what Abraham said, praise the Lord, that time, our God gave immediate response to Abraham. Praise the Lord. Our God said, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, this one shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own body shall be your hair. Then he brought him outside and said, that Jesus Christ brought Abraham outside and said, look now toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. And he said to him, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. so shall your descendants be. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. That's what, okay. 
our god will give certain response our god will respond very well praise the lord very soon our god will respond if you are born again child of god if you say some kind of negative words from your mind our god will respond very soon he will show his power to you because you should never doubt our god in the new testament you know that one zachariah and elizabeth they were serving lord what happened they were not having children but when the angel of the lord appeared to zachariah what happened zachariah could not believe 100% because of this reason our god has responded through his angels very soon immediate action zachariah could not able to talk that time onwards praise the lord after the birth of john the baptist zachariah could able to talk this is what if you are a born again person if you know the power of the lord if you know our god is a healer if you know our god can get you eternal life you should never worry anything about that one you have to witness this god power god's mighty things in front of everybody and you have to declare in your family time even if i'm not saying seeing anything in my life this god will help me praise the lord hallelujah this is what i'm saying joseph he was not at all worrying about his life his brothers rejected him his family members rejected him his neighbors rejected him praise the lord everybody got reject rejection in his life what happened joseph he was not at all worrying about his life but he was looking at all his promises which our god has given to him what was the promises two dreams our god has given to joseph he was always in every morning whenever he was walking to sleep in time whenever he was eating the food that time he will remember the promises the dream which our god has given to him what was the promise his rejected people his brothers your father they will come and stand in front of him praise the lord does it matter if our god said you will be a blessed person if our god said you will be healed if our god said you will never get our god will never leave you no forsake you does it matter never look at your situation never look at the things which is going surrounding place of you never look at the war is going on praise the lord the people will get died our god saying the thousands the ten thousand they will fall they will get died your right side and your left side bible says it will never come near to you bible says i will send my angels to get you the promise you have to declare the promise of the lord whenever you declare the promise of the lord bible says his angels is ready to fulfill his promises on you in your life praise the lord but the story you are doing the evangelism it is not a normal thing small thing sister charlie you are coming and sitting in this church it is not a normal thing the world people what they could not do in their life you could do because bible says you are the chosen generation you are the royal priesthood we are his own special people chosen generation that means we are the elected people to spread the gospel in front of the king in front of the nations our god has appointed you with the power and authority give what you have to jesus praise the lord you are thinking you are normal person tomorrow you are preaching the gospel in front of thousands of 100000 200000 300000 people you are witnessing god this god is a living god praise the lord our god is given in this church you and me you are gathered here in this church our god has given you in my hand to say this good news to you today praise the lord hallelujah so today never look at god's promise is a small each and every god's promise is a very big promise there are eight keys just i'm on the finish of the 10 minute time okay eight keys how to receive the god's promise bible says against your hope abraham believed hope praise the lord hallelujah situation will come against you if our god is saying something you will get the children but if our god is getting saying something you will go to that place situation will come against you but you have to say our god who has given the promise that promise 
has given the person who created this world. Praise the Lord. The promise. Who is giving this promise? This promise has given the person who can change even king's mind. The father's mind. Praise the Lord. The same God has given the promise. So that this promise is fulfilled. Nations, you know that one, the nation, your country laws will come against you sometimes. Our God will touch the authority of the authorities mind and change the laws for you. The reason is you are such a precious one in the hands of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What Abraham did? Abraham situation it was coming against his life. 25 years. He was waiting last 24 years. There is no result. Finally, three angels came and visited Abraham. You know, Abraham's nature, he was giving very good hospitality. We should have the mind to give the hospitality, help others. Doesn't matter. Even you know, when I was preaching the gospel, I don't have much money. If I don't have money to put petrol, I'll put it. I said I don't have money. Praise the Lord. If I don't have money, if I don't have money to put petrol, I will know I will never go to farm. I will preach the gospel very near and walk and preach. Praise the Lord. This is what I was doing. If I have money, I will travel Manchester, 150 miles, Darlington to 300 miles. Praise the Lord. I will travel and preach and gospel. Praise the Lord. Last year, the same day, I preached the gospel in Darlington. From here to Darlington, 300 miles, 325 miles. Praise the Lord. For one hour preaching, I went there, Darlington. Five to five, ten hours of drive, for one hour preaching, I went there. When I went there, you know that no one was preaching the gospel. I am so much encouraged by city. Very big city. Big crowded city. No one was preaching the gospel. Only me was preaching the gospel there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know what your situation today in the city. When I was touching my feet, definitely any of the cities, our God will increase lots of souls in the city. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what happened. This is what happened in Portsmouth. This is what happened in the Croydon, in London area. This is what has been happened in the Scotland. In Wales, no one was preaching gospel. When I came back, when I went there, after a year, when I went to the same place, lots of people, our God has raised. Praise the Lord. So that promise of the Lord, you have to walk. Sometimes situation will come against your life. You should say, this God can fulfill the things in my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wait to declare, I'll get a big home. I'll get a big house. Praise the Lord. Big home. Everything. I will be a big preacher. I will, become, I will become a big preacher. I will heal. Whenever I raise my hand, lay my hand on the sick people, even, even if I could not see any other healing today, tomorrow, this God will heal through my hand, the people. Praise the Lord. We have to declare accordingly. You know, when I start to preach the gospel, I was praying for all the people. Healing was not happening. Praise the Lord. <laughs> what will I do? I was, I was giving a complaint when I came to the bed. Oh God, all the people are preaching the gospel. Healing is happening. When I was preaching, there was no healing. So I was, so I was cried, crying in the night time. But one day, when I preached the great citizen there, praise the Lord, our God has healed. I could able to see praise, the person who was having the walking difficulty. He himself, after prayer, he himself removed the walking stick. You know that one, removed the bandage without walking stick. He was running. Praise the Lord. Wonderful miracle of God. Woman who was sitting in the wheelchair, without wheelchair, she is running and witnessing God today. Again, couple more times had been there, the same city center. Two more pe first people, they were having the walking difficulty with the walking stick. They were running like that. Praise the Lord. Our God is a living God. Praise the Lord. Give wonderful clap to Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not only Pastor Charlie, if you are praying to the Lord right now, praise in your sick hand, if you are playing your hand, God will heal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is our God. Our God needs you without you and me. Our God cannot do anything. Praise the Lord. Our God is a spirit. Our, cannot, our God will never do by himself alone. Our God has appointed his servant, his people. That is you and me. For the people, those are born again and baptized. Praise the Lord. Our God has appointed you and me to go and preach this gospel and heal the sick people, do the miracle in front of everybody and witness and break all the chains from the evil chains we have to break in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what our God has appointed. Praise the Lord. In the state, when you are gathering, we cannot do like that. The world people will get laughed. 
the people those are born again and baptized came to know the power of the Lord we will never get lost because the gospel is the fire of the Lord praise the Lord it's a mighty fire Abraham he was believing accordingly the second thing praise the Lord that's the Bible says book of Romans chapter 8 verse 24 you can read that one book of Romans chapter 8 verse 24 for in hope where we served but hope that is seen is not hope for who hope for which he seed praise the Lord book of Romans chapter 8 verse 24 praise the Lord hallelujah 24 and 25 book of Romans chapter 8 verse 24 and 25 Yeah, book of Romans chapter 8, verse 24 and 25. For in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what we already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. That's what, okay. We have to wait for God patiently. Maybe one year, two years, like Joseph, 13 years, Abraham, 25 years. We have to wait for Lord. One day this God will fulfill. One day you will get a well, then you'll get promised to get fulfilled in your life. You may be a colleague, you'll get died. Your family members will get died. To get fulfilled this promise in your life, our God will extend your life. Praise the Lord. Our God will extend your life. Your friends, your family members, they will get died. Either they will go to heaven or hell, doesn't matter. But still, you will get alive in this world to fulfill, to receive the promise from the Lord in your life. Praise the Lord. This is our God. So today, we can receive the promise from the Lord because of hope. The second thing, how we can receive the promise? According to that which was spoken. When you are believing what the spoken word, when you are believing the spoken word it will happen, then it will fulfill in your life. So that Bible says, book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse alone, Bible says, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where to I send it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Third thing. What, how the promise will get fulfilled in our life. Being not weak in faith. Every day I have to say, oh, this will happen. We have to go and stand. I, what I am doing. If any of the situation will be coming against your life, I will go and stand in front of the mirror. And I will declare, I will be like that. Praise the Lord. Nobody can defeat me. I will go and stand in front of the mirror. I will declare, I will be, praise the Lord. The Satan cannot defeat me. My adversary cannot defeat me. They will get ashamed. I will declare by myself and laugh and declare and declare the promise of the Lord. Pastor Joel is still alive. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Walking by the faith of God. Praise the Lord. This is, thing. This is what we have to declare. The promise of the Lord one by one. Praise the Lord. Situ when situation is coming against your life, you should not go and sleep in the bird. You should not go and sit any of the places. Any of the, you know, that one. You should not, um, you know, you should never feel, you should never get feel any of the tiredness in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Praise the Lord. You have to cast out all the depressions and anxiety by the word of God. And say, this God will corner me one day. Praise the Lord. We have to say accordingly. Third thing, what you have to do it. He didn't let nature obstacles wake his faith. Praise the Lord. Maybe famine time it will come. Maybe you will get sickness, the tiredness. Maybe your hand will get sick. Praise the Lord. You should never think, oh, tomorrow I will be like that. No, there will be a change in that one. Praise the Lord. When you are getting each and every sickness, our God has given a mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have to command to the sickness, go! Our God is helping all the children of Israel 40 years. After 40 years, after the leadership of Joseph, Moses, when Joshua was leading all the children of Israel, our God is not at all feeding children of Israel. Our God was sending all the children of Israel to fight against their enemies. Praise the Lord. They were fighting under the leadership of Moses, under the leadership of Joshua. They were receiving, they were getting the promised land one by one. Praise the Lord. They were fighting against their enemies. Today our God is asking to you. Your famine time, maybe you are homeless, you don't have job, you don't have money, your sickness, you have to fight against the devil. 
the name of Jesus Christ. You have to sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ. Your family areas, your sickness, your depressions, anxiety, in all the places, loneliness, apply the blood of Jesus Christ. Say from your mouth, I am a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Devil cannot help me. Pray. Devil cannot destroy my life. My God is my helper. You have to declare accordingly. Praise the Lord. Then you will get success one by one. Devil cannot attack you. Praise the Lord. You cannot see anything. But in the heavenly realm, all the angels are in the heaven standing surrounding place of you. Whenever you are saying the promised words, the angels in the heaven as angels are in the heaven, they will hold, they will take the promised words, what you said. They will start to execute in the promise in your life. Praise the Lord. Give one of the to Jesus. Christ. I'm going to close right now. I'm going to close right now. We just five Bible says. Praise the Lord. Um, in this Bible says, okay, where's the Bible? Abraham was strong in faith. Praise the Lord. He was very, very strong. He was not at all weak. Praise the Lord. When Lord got separated, what he did? He went to empty places. Even if he was in empty places, one thing, it was there in his heart. What he was thinking? The God has called me. Praise the Lord. This God can fulfill. This God can bless me. Even if I don't have anything in my life today, even if I'm getting empty places, empty land in my hand today. Tomorrow, this God can be able to multiply in my life. The same thing happened. The land of Israel, you know that one? The fruitful land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes and yes later, even today too. So today, you have to be the strong in faith. That verses 7 Bible says, I'm being fully persuaded that what God has promised, He was able to he was able also to perform. Praise the Lord. He was having 100% heart in his heart. So that before finishing this session, I want to pray for everybody. Praise the Lord. This is what. We have to strong, be strong in faith. Let us stand. We have to be strong in faith. We have to walk in faith. We have to cast out all the anxiety and disappointment by the promised word. We have to declare this God can be able to perform. Even if the things which is coming against my life. When you are declaring it from my mouth, situation will get changed. Your darkness will go out. The God's light will come to you. The heavenly angels will come and get you the protection. All the areas of your life, it will, you can see the fruit for you. Praise the Lord. The result will come. Abraham saw, Isaac saw the seed during the time of the famine time. Bible said, the hundredfold fruit our God has given to Isaac. So today, before I finish this session, let us raise our hand. We can pray to the Lord. We can pray to the Lord, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this today, this session. Thank you, God. Even if I am walking in the weakness, my mind is too much weak. Heavenly Father, we can pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you for your increase your faith. So that in all the circumstances, whatever I am facing today, I can able to come out. In your word. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody right now. If anybody is suffering any kind of sickness, according to your promise, you said by, the, by your stripes we are healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You gave the authority over the power, over serpents and scorpions, over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for such a challenge for the cross right now. Any of the sickness coming in her life, the body, in their life, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare the word of God right now. Whatever I bind on this earth, it will be bound on the heaven. Whatever I lose on this earth, it will be loose in the heaven. You have given the authority for me over all the serpents, of scorpions, over all the powers of the enemy. The name of Jesus Christ, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ on here right now. The name of Jesus Christ, live. All the sickness, the spirit of infirmities right now, from her body right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, from Chris' body right now, go right now, in Jesus' name. Shakalatu Rakana, Shakalatu Rakana, Shakata Pata Kalatu, in Jesus' name of it, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name of it, Halata Rakani, Shakalata Pata Kalatu, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray for all the church members, I pray for Brother Stone right now, I bless his brother right now. Thank you for giving new house right now, Father. At the elder time, give more healthy body right now, Father. Give more power and mighty presence, Heavenly Father, to this brother right now. I bless this brother. We are, we all, in there. Mr. Charlie, raise your hand. Bless this brother. Raise your hand. You can bless this brother. Heavenly Father, I bless this brother. In church, 
we bless his father in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit we bless for the steward and family in jesus name i pray amen heavenly father i pray for our brother who the people those who taken the water baptism with the tom the diana and uh, lauren praise the lord and joseph and tan everybody thank you for your giving mighty presence heavenly father thank you thank you for your keeping that in your glory heavenly father i pray for the people those who born again in the state thank you for a connecting us father thank you for your giving a source more source to us father so that you can make a group and pray together and worship with you thank you for blessing the more and more heavenly father is there any of the things any of the proceedings any of the legal proceedings court proceedings the family problems any of the situation the jobless problem the situation from the colleagues facing the problem from the colleagues and the employees heavenly father employer any of the things which is coming against our life in the name of jesus christ all the satanic world satanic spirit in the name of jesus christ abide i cast out right now god right now in jesus name shakalla purakana shatta tappata kalla purakana in jesus name amen in jesus name once again more i pray for me all the shakta nation ministry all the church members heavenly father thank you for your blessing now blessing us more and more heavenly father we are going today to our home right now until we meet next week heavenly father thank you for our keeping us in your glory heavenly father once again more i bless all the church members in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit i bless each and every people in jesus name i pray amen praise the lord the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship with the holy spirit be with you all amen so god bless you thank you very much okay god bless you